Welcome to Oka's channel. Thanks for watching today. Let's do the last of the Christmas turtle unboxings. And today we're focusing on Street Style Donatello. And uh, if there's one turtle line I'm like a really big fan of, it's the Street Style line from uh, Best AXN. Because I enjoy the idea of combining like the retro aesthetic as far as like the outfits and whatnot with the turtles themselves. It's like the perfect uh, nostalgic experience here. And I've already got Raphael and I've already got Leonardo and of course Donatello now. And I have high hopes that my wife might get me a uh, Michelangelo for my birthday. At least that's what I'm hoping for. And I've got some uh, inclination that might be coming true for me. But today we're going to be unboxing Street Style Donatello. See if he lives up to the quality of Raphael and Leonardo. And he probably will, but we're going to look really in depth at like all the accessories. I just ordered the details of Donatello here. Now, if you'd like to see the other uh, Christmas turtle unboxings that my wife got me for Christmas, I did an unboxing of Wingnut a few uh, days back. You can click the link up above here. And I did an unboxing of the 2023 reissue of Ray Filet. And you can click the link up above here to watch that one. Well, let's go and get into the unboxing of Donatello. All right, so let's take a look at the overall box here. And the first thing you're probably going to notice is the wonderful 87 cartoon re-edition of Donatello over here at the side with his sunglasses, a little retro leather jacket, his retro sneakers, a wonderful re-edition of Donatello in a street style. But you're probably going to also notice that the uh, jacket is a different color than it is in the uh, actual package here. That's because if you flip it over, there are different variants to Donatello that you can get. Of course, the uh, one of the image on the cartoon there is going to be a little uh, brown leather jacket, a little video camera. But the variant that we have is the one in four chance. Of course, the purple jacket with a pizza slice. Also a one in four chance of getting a leather head jacket with a uh, sort of the mixed color sunglasses as well as a turtle com and then a prototype limit to 100 and they don't even tell you what that particular one looks like. If I can figure it out, I'll put a uh, picture of it here in the video. But as far as like when I'm filming this, I do not know what any of the prototypes for any of the figures looked like. 31 points of articulation. That has a ton of joint action for a Donatello as well as the multiple accessories down here. This is going to vary depending on which uh, turtle variant that you get here. We do not have the, uh, I guess, the uh, bow with the little knife on the end. We just simply have a regular staff, and we do not have the camera. We have the pizza slice, but the uh, sunglasses as well as the face is going to be the same, and the hands that you can get. And a little details about Donatello or Don or Donnie off to the side as well. Overall, a excellent box. Got the uh, 87 turtles on each side, or I'm sorry, on one side of the box. Let's go and get into the actual unboxing or opening of Donatello himself. All right, so we have everything out of the package here. And I have to say, like, this retro uh, street style line, like, it just feels great as far as, like, the uh, weight of the figure, the texture, the quality of the figure, even the points of articulation. Like, nothing is too stiff, nothing is too loose. It all just simply, um, basically uh, comes as it should immediately out, out of the package. I know a lot of the other figures I unbox here, sometimes the uh, figures are a little bit too stiff. You have to sort of uh, miss them a little bit to get them sort of break loose. That's not the case at all with these uh, street style figures from VST AXN. These are pretty much top notch as far as like the quality of the figure in general here. Even the paint job is pretty top notch all the way down to like the uh, retro sneakers here, the details on the jacket itself. All of this is just simply top notch. The jacket even sort of opens up a little bit. It doesn't come off, but I mean, it just adds like a little extra detail as far as uh, the way the jacket actually flows on the figure. Um, honestly, excellent paint job on every single aspect of this except for maybe the uh, painting of the uh, teeth there on the front of Donatello. It does look a little bit on the goofy side. I'm not sure if that's the uh, on purpose paint job of that or not, but it does look a little bit off. Doesn't quite look to the, um, I don't know, ferociousness or the seriousness or even the cartoonishness of Donatello. It just looks more, uh, I don't know, sort of um, dorky or goofy when it comes to that. Almost like it might be a little bit of a paint job miss up there. Not positive, that's just my personal feelings on it. Now you could swap it out for this other head here and um, obviously no paint errors on that one whatsoever. And I may end up swapping it out just simply because I'm not a big fan of the way those uh, teeth look exactly on this figure. Let's go ahead and do that real quick actually. All right, so I think I like this one a little bit better. Yeah, normally I would like more of the serious face, but um, I feel like the paint job is a little bit better on this particular head for Donatello. You can also swap out all of the hand pieces if you would like as well. And uh, for the most part, I keep those the same as long as they can hold the uh, basic weapon, at least for the display here. So you may have to swap one of them out at least to hold the bow. Let's see here. The, uh, the bow is going to fit. Uh, we may have to end up swapping it out because the bow does not fit perfectly inside of his hand. So we're probably going to have to swap at least 
one or two of the hands out in order to hold the pizza slice as well as his bow. Let's go ahead and do that real fast as well. All right, so we got it swapped out here. Obviously the bow looks excellent inside the hand. The pizza slice is a little bit awkward. I mean, he's sort of holding it <laughs> off to the side. I'll probably end up displaying without the pizza slice, if I'm being honest, because uh, it just sort of makes more sense there. Let's go and get the uh, sunglasses on him as well, see how they fit. Now, one thing I've mentioned in some of the other figures is the uh, sunglasses actually have like little holes that they go in to make sure that the, um, you know, they uh, hold in there pretty much perfectly. And that's one of those little extra details that was not necessary, but is very handy when it comes to uh, actually putting these figures together. All right, the sunglasses were a little bit difficult to get in there, but I'd rather be a little bit difficult to get in than falling off a little bit too easy. And so overall, a fantastic look for Don Tello here. Like I said, the paint job is pretty much phenomenal on everything except for the original head that they came with. But uh, I love the overall look of the jacket. I love the overall look of the retro sneakers, the retro style, the paint job, the feel of the figure, the points of articulation. They're pretty much just sort of a par none when it comes to this. You can pose this figure pretty much any way that you would want to. I mean, this is just simply a great line of figures. I just think it looks great on pretty much any retro turtle collector's shelf. And uh, personally, I am so excited to almost have the uh, street style figures complete. All I need left is Michelangelo. And um, I, I don't know, I actually really do enjoy the look of this Donatello head a little bit more than I thought I would. It just sort of adds an extra little uh, character to him to really enjoying uh, being out on the streets and out of the sewer a little bit. Overall, great, great look for a figure. Overall, Street Style Donatello is a wonderful addition to my other Street Style figures back here. Like I said, all I have left is Michelangelo. I cannot wait to add him to the collection, sort of finish it up here. And if you haven't had a chance to pick up any of the Street Style figures, they are getting a little bit more uh, rare out there. However, they are still at some of the stores. If you sort of look behind, you know, in sort of the back of the more collectible area, you might still find one here and there. But overall, I think Donatello is a perfect addition, and I can't wait to display it on the shelf back here. But if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Check out my other videos listed up above, and go out there, find a great game to play. So we have a great rest of the day.